So uh, also don't forget to keep everything cleaned up. And there we go. So we can put everything for here we can change everything for William. So for example, William, William's name, this is his email, copy and paste. And imagine that everything else is nearly the same. So for example, his, and also change his ID to two. And suppose this is also true. And he has only one dog here, which is Tommy, and which uh, I can change the name as well. And so I can write any kind of name. So, for example, Frank, and his age is two. So we've got everything changed up, also the number 44, and that's it. So let's see if we have any errors for um, dictive people. Also, we want to print that dictionary as well. So we can comment all of these prints and focus on Dictive people, dict of people, and save this. Right, and here, as you can see, we have the dictionary of people, and uh, you can put this kind of dictionary inside uh, a JSON file and uh, simply show all of the details of different people. You can add people. You can add the list of their dogs, their pets, and so on. And uh, this is very useful because, because you can put any kind of data and any kind of key here. You can access different uh, keys. For example, um, you want to know the age of Frank, which is William's dog. So you can uh, here put William. And in order to access dogs here you can write for example Frank first of all you need to write dogs and then another key is Frank so we can save this and here, as you can see, the age of Frank is printed out. Here, if instead of Frank, we write uh, nothing and we only have dogs. Let's save this. And here, as you can see, Frank with the age of two is printed out. And when you wanted to, for example, know the age of Frank, you can simply find it out using this. So this way you can fetch data or information from a dictionary and uh, if you have a very long dictionary or a file you can open it out open it up and access data this way so uh, it's very important to learn how to access data in a dictionary and how to define a dictionary because later when you are uh, working with JSON files and you want to create a kind of a database based on JSON files you can uh, simply print out uh, different items, access different items, and fetch those items. And notice that some of the databases or APIs you get from the internet are based on these JSON files and dictionaries. And uh, for example, you want to uh, fetch the price of a cryptocurrency. And that cryptocurrency is, for example, Bitcoin. And you get uh, an API from CoinMarketCap. And then you get a dictionary of the price of the of the market cap of different item and data related to uh, Bitcoin or BTC or Ethereum. 
then uh, you can use this kind of structure in order to uh, access data from that JSON file. And also there are moments when you want to know the, the keys of uh, a dictionary. So you want to know the keys of dictative people. So for example, we have William. Or simpler, uh, we want to know the new dictionary keys here. So here, let me comment print here and we have new dictionary. And I want to know the keys of this dictionary. Let's see what happens. So dict keys are name, email, number, number two, ID, height, married, and docs. So here, as you can see, we have uh, all these keys here and the keys are printed out using the method called dot keys. And if I do this for the dict of people, let's see what happens then if I do that. So print dict of people and dot keys and here we can only see William and James and the reason is we are just uh, focusing on this dictionary not the dictionaries inside this dictionary so for example if you want to know uh, different data related to James we can write instead of dict of people we can write Dict of people and then you can write James. And then we can find all these data related to James, dogs, married, height, ID, number, two number, email and name. And if you want to know the list of names related to, uh, for example, James Dog, you can write Dict of people, James, and docs. And then you can find uh, the list of his dogs, Tommy, Jackie, and Tim. And these are the different ways you can access data in uh, a dictionary. So in the last part, we, uh, we learned how to um, find a, for example, find the names or email of James, so, uh, or, or the dictionary, or we could, for example, find William, and then all of the data related to William, or we could have uh, found uh, the Frank's age, who is uh, the dog, and, and the William's dog. So uh, his age is two, so it was printed out. And we could have also find different properties or different keys related to James, which are the different James uh, data that we have stored in this dictionary. So now suppose you want to add a, a new feature for James and uh, here we can write James, actually first we should write Dict of people, so dict of people, and then inside of it, so first, let me do it again. Here we have James and William, so we can easily choose one of them. We wanted to uh, add a key for William, and so for example, we want to add. Uh, list of his cats and here we can only uh, have it singular so for example he has only one cat and here we can write uh, the name of his cat mm, for example um, Harry So if I run this code, you will see that we have 
So here we want to uh, print William. William and uh, we want to know what are the keys of uh, William. So a key has been added and let's see what what is the problem here. So we have uh, William and okay, it hasn't got an I. So here, there we go. We have name, email, number, number two, ID, height, married, dogs, and cat he has been added uh, as the key. So um, if you want to access the name of his cat, you can write, and here, as we, there we go, we have Harry, the name of his cat. So this is the way we can add a new item. So we have changed this dictionary, added an item, and uh, we have this kind of ability with dictionaries. So in general, uh, we have keys and we have the values in a dictionary. So for example, name is a key and here William is the value. And imagine that you want to get the values instead of the, um, so here, for example, for the new dictionary, we want to get uh, the values instead of the keys we can write, uh, we can use the values method. And what you'll see here, James, james at signgmail.com, his two numbers. And uh, here one is his ID, and this is his height, this is his marriage statement, and these are the list of his docs. So these are all the values. And uh, here, this is another dictionary, so this is another value. And uh, we might need this kind of method at the times that we know what the keys are and we only want to know the values. And uh, if you want both of the keys and the values together, you can use items instead of values. And uh, you will get another representation of the dictionary. And this is much easier to see when you want to show it in a console. As you can see, we have name. James, email, james at signgmail.com, number, and so on. So imagine that you want to change one of these keys, uh, key values. So for example, uh, you want to change the number for James because his number is modified inside the database. Uh, so you can simply use um, dicts of people and William and uh, his number. As you can see, you can easily see uh, each one of, let me try this. Um, okay, here you cannot see that, but for William and James, you could have seen that. Okay, for William, we had a number. So his, we want to see his number and we want to change it. So it equals, um, let's say, for example, he's got this number, he had got this number here. And for example, the last three digits changed to 343. And once we save this code and check this one, check this for William, his number, so print, dict of few people, and for example, here is good, William, and let's check his number. Also, let's remove this one, and save the code, run it, and here, as you can see, the new number with 343 has been appeared as the result. So uh, this is a way to modify a dictionary if you want to change it. 
There are also moments when you want to check uh, if any property, a, a kind of property exists, actually a, a kind of key exists inside one of these dictionaries. So um, you use the very same method for uh, the list and uh, tuples and sets. So here we can write if, so for example, for William, for the dict of people and William. We want to know um, if cat has been added to one of the William keys. So if cat in dict of people, William print Um, true. Or, for example, right, uh, you can print uh, William has a cat. William has a cat. So, as you can see, uh, it's been printed out. William has a cat. You can uh, do the same for James. So, because James does not have any cat, we won't have this line printed out. We can also add else in order to see if our code does exist. So, we can write James else print James has no cat has got no cat okay and William has a cat James has got no cat